For this week's training tip, we're going to talk about a question that's came in from one of our followers, which was actually one of the winners from our drawings last month. And the question was about, they have a finished heel horse that roots his nose out when, when they get past any speed other than a trot. And that's a pretty common problem, especially in horses that are older and that have been used more uh, in the performance field and, and probably get less tune-ups um, than a younger horse would. What happens when a horse starts rooting their nose out is that when they go to stop, they're bracing against that tie-down um, this particular horse they use a tie down on and when they do that their back end stays out behind them and their back hollows out and their front end is out in front of them okay well there's no way, way a horse can stop smooth and stay behind the bridle when they hollow that back out so what I would suggest to this particular follower is to put your horse back into something like a D-ring snaffle with a German martingale like I've got on this mare. I'll get sideways here so you can see it better. And then I'm going to do a couple simple exercises loping against the fence and changing direction. And the purpose of these exercises is so that when you, when you go two-handed with your horse and you take that leverage away from your horse, like when you're stopping them one-handed, you start to break that horse down and start to soften them in that head and neck and shoulders again. Then when you get them soft, then you can start going back to putting speed with it. But a lot of times what happens is we put more bit on our horses and that bit makes them, it, it sends a stronger and it's got more bite to it. So it's, it's a much more severe signal. So that horse starts to anticipate that signal with more bit and they start to tense up and anytime your horse tenses up they can't stay soft. So I'm going to do a couple of these circles with some direction changes on the fence and then I'll come back and talk to you. See, with that simple exercise, you could see where this mare was already starting to get that hind leg up underneath her more, and she was starting to break at the pole more, and stay soft and bent in that turn. Okay, so if you break them down one side, you break them down the other side, then before long, when you pick up on that horse one-handed, you've got that softness and that roundness in their back. I hope that helps. That's our tip for this week. If you have any questions, be sure to message us or email us. Um, and also, if you have a question on a particular exercise or a challenge you're having, don't be afraid to send it in, and we'll use it in one of our weekly tips. Have a great week of training, and stay safe. Thanks a bunch.